Hey everybody, I'm sitting, I want to take a second to sit here and tell you about the Grundens flip-flops. Everyone has been seeing these on end caps and sporting goods stores and everything, and you're probably asking yourself, I wonder if that's a decent flip-flop. And I know you've all experienced before where you bought a flip-flop that may look cool, you start wearing them, you realize right away that you got robbed because it's not a very good flip-flop. The most common thing that happens on a flip-flop is you blow out the toe area and then you find yourself limping across the parking lot with a blowout. Man, I've fit, this is three years now I've fished out of these flip-flops. I have not blown out one single pair of these flip-flops. They're solid flip-flops. Uh, they're just as reliable as a tennis shoe as far as I'm concerned. Some of the most important features, this is what they call the deck boss. Uh, one of the biggest things to me when it comes to a flip-flop, a boating style flip-flop, is a non-marking sole. Uh, all their flip-flops have non-marking soles, so you can jump in your buddy's bay boat. You don't have to worry about kicking your shoes off. Uh, once you rinse them off, you're good to fish in them all day long without putting black marks all over your buddy's shoes, uh, uh, all over his deck. Uh, very, very tough, very durable sole. The sole is actually like a tennis shoe sole, so you can stand and fish out of these things all day long, and uh, you won't get the fatigue like you would in the past from wearing normal flip-flops. This is actually has a lot of support, a good art support in them. And the biggest thing to me is you can get them wet, wear them all day long, fish in them for weeks. It doesn't matter, they will not stink on you. If you don't wash your feet, that's one thing. But if you, if you keep your feet clean, you can't, the flip-flop itself won't make your, your feet stink. And I've seen flip-flops that do that. They don't have those antimicrobial technologies in them. So it's a good, durable, non-stinking, non-marking flip-flop that gives you support to fish out of. That's what we call the deck boss. Here we go with the deck hand. This is a combination of a lifestyle flip-flop meets performance. Um, you, you get the functionality out of it, out of a outdoor fishing. I'm going to wear these things on the offshore boat all day and fish in them, but I might want to wear them the same night to go to dinner when we're down at the beach or something like that. This is more of a, uh, you can see it has less BB of a sole, but it still has that non-marking sole on it that we love. They have the sea deck on here, so you get that nice comfort as if you were standing on that sea deck, uh, deck on your buddy's boat or whatever, but it's still a lifestyle, good looking flip flop. These are good looking too, but these are more, if you wanna wear some shorts and a collared shirt and some flip flops, you're at the beach or something like that, these are a little bit more stylish. So it's just a combination between functionality and lifestyle. Uh, both of them are really nice. I kinda of wear these around the house daily, and whenever I know I'm gonna be on the boat all day fishing, that's when I'll throw these on. You can't really wear these out. These have a very good dur durable sole. Uh, you can get a good year or two out of a pair of these flip-flops if you take care of them. They're really good flip-flops. So check those out. Next time you're in the sporting goods store, you'll see these on the end cap. Um, they retail for around 80, 90 bucks a piece. Try them out. It's worth every penny. Good flip-flops. Uh, you can't put a price on good flip-flops.